Hi Pisces, my name is Tiana and welcome to my channel Inspired by Ease. Um, if you've seen my videos before, feel free to skip ahead to your reading. If you're new, welcome. These readings are general. Hopefully there is something in here that you can take away. Uh, my readings also aren't date specific, so feel free to look back at my previous readings that I've done and check out your moon and rising sign. And you can also swap around the characters. So I might be speaking directly to you, Pisces, or I might be speaking directly to the cross watcher. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, I am going to start off with the animal spirit card deck uh, i'm so excited oh my gosh pisces <gasps> hummingbird absolute joy absolute joy uh okay oyster water okay anything else black egg i feel like one more this is a doozy anything else for pisces you know Oh my god, ow, ow, wow, okay. Okay, I think this is how it's wanting to be paired. I'm just going to use my pendulum of rose quartz uh, just to double check. Is this Pisces? Yes, okay, perfect. So Pisces, this is an amazing reading, I just have to say so amazing um okay so these are it, this can be read in two ways okay pisces you can read this as oh, as both of you i mean these are this is just all you uh this is definitely you and you can also read this as you as well um but i am going to read this as another person but you can read it as just one and um, this might be a group, a dynamic, uh, like an opportunity. So, okay, I'm gonna start out with you, Pisces. So you are presenting in your element of water <laughs> uh, as oyster, and you are just broadcasting, you are emanating. I'm getting more, uh, you are you are broadcasting not yet vocal but you're you're broadcasting with your energy and i think that you are feeling a lot more um in your power your authenticity um and and everything like this and you are uh i'm just i'm just seeing this as you're your light has not been, I'm kind of feeling like your light has been hid under a bushel. It, ha it has been hid, you haven't hid it, it has been hid. Um, because with this oyster and black egg, uh, I, I don't think you've hatched yet. I don't think you've gone to yet. Um, but I think you're feeling it inside uh so there is a hatching that is taking place pisces um so there is this bright light that is emanating within even around this egg you can see that it's starting to uh emanate a brilliant white light around it and and it's about to hatch it's about to come out and uh, and it's about to be seen and recognized you are about to be seen and recognized, Pisces. And I think that you're in the beginning stages of really coaxing, really milking this, really feeling it for yourself first before sharing it with other people. I think you're just really enjoying this feeling, this feeling of just knowing who you are and feeling comfortable in your own skin. I think you're really getting used to this uh, a feeling first before you're ta -da, uh, <laughs> out in public and broadcasting this uh, verbally and with your actions, maybe even with how you dress, everything like that. Um, so yeah, and the black egg is all about authentic truth that that deep innate truth that lives inside of us that exists in the silence uh where no kind of 
lies or um, darkness or fear or anything has ever touched it. It's just this, it's just that absolute innocent purity of your personal authentic truth. And that is what's being hatched. Um, it's a very pure, sweet uh, essence. The essence of you, the pure essence of you is coming online. And you're starting to really feel this homecoming Pisces you're really starting to feel this homecoming in yourself it's not a physical place it's a feeling and you're getting back in touch with that and um and I think you're really treasuring this time before before you hatch before you go ah uh so yeah I think you're you're keeping this to yourself for right now maybe a few few close people know uh, that you've shared with it, but no one really knows the absolute brilliance of this feeling that you've had. I think maybe, maybe you've told a few people and they kind of know what's up, but no one knows the uh, magnetic power of this feeling that you're really getting in touch with. And just so you know, the upside down triangle is the alchemical sign for water and the circle is ether spirit so it's it's coming down into into like your your divine spiritual truth is um coming down and you're about to verbalize this vocalize this and embody embody this truth of yours okay all right, so like I said, you can read this additionally as you as well, but I'm gonna read this as, sorry, there's something floating in the air. Um, I'm gonna read this as another person. Okay, so <laughs> we have double air, <laughs> double air. So they might be uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, uh, but they don't have to be. And they are, they already are emanating this brilliant light and this authenticity and this joy. And they're, uh, they're not just verbalizing it. They're, they're totally embodying this. They're the whole spectrum of colors and they're, they are this bright light in a sea of darkness. It could just be the sea of darkness of of society uh, and you know whatever just the way that life is um, and I also like to see you know this owl is just brilliant white across this really dark backdrop it, it just is it just is it doesn't really have to do anything it just is it just is I just keep <laughs> wanting to say that to you Pisces um, and and so they're not just they're not just vocal about this authentic authenticity and truth and joy and uh, and everything. Um, and they're embodying, you know, they absolutely embody their pure uh, life essence, their essence. They completely embody it in everything that they do, in how they speak, and how they dress, and how. Um, they have relationship with with people um, in their job or career uh, you know everything in how they create if they're artistic uh, this is also a highly highly intuitive person and so are you Pisces <laughs> you are so uh, intuitive um, I kind of want to say that if this is an air sign, it would be most likely an Aquarius because Pisces and Aquarius are the, the granddaddies or grand mamas of the zodiac. Um, so you're you're the grandmama or granddaddy in the water element 
and Aquarius is the granddaddy or grandmama of the air element. So um, you're definitely dealing with an equal here, is what I'm trying to say. Um, you're dealing with an equal, um, but I think that you are feeling, you're not as sure-footed as they are. I mean, look at that. Um, I think you're still in this kind of vulnerable place of, of hatching. And, um, but you are totally equals, but, but from your perspective, Pisces, you maybe don't feel like you are, but you totally are. I, I don't know if this is true, but I feel like hummingbirds are very quiet birds or when they fly. Um, I think, I think you hear a hummingbird like after it's passed you, like that's how quick they are. But if they were to just like, you don't hear it until they pass you. And I'm just trying to say that, um, that they're just, that they don't need to be loud. They just are, <laughs> they just are. And so are you Pisces. Um, you this person might come off as theatrical and flamboyant. That might just be who they are, but they don't try at it. They don't try to be that. They just are. And I think maybe you in the past have tried to be something that you weren't because you, you admired those qualities, but now you've gone within and you're getting reacquainted with your personal unique beautiful essence and i think you're realizing that you don't have to try and it's just more of this natural naturalness now with this owl uh I mean, it's just, it's just incredible with how these cards are mirroring. All of them have just a completely pitch black background and all of them are just blazing, are just brilliant white. Uh, and just because this is an air sign, I think that this per, because you're really deep, Pisces, because you're water and you're very, very deep and uh, subliminal and, you know, all of that stuff. And this person is as well. Um, you're, you're deep in the emotions and the waters and what's underneath the surface. And um, they are very deep telepathically, very intuitively, uh, very in the mind. They can read people like book like a book um and so you know of course like owls are are very wise and um and they're both a hummingbird and owl both birds and i think that this person is is a messenger for you to keep letting this unfold and allow this hatching process to take place um so that you can you can soar and launch as well yeah i feel like they are um yeah they're just they're just a messenger for you to to teach you that who you are is so beautiful and you don't have to try at it. You don't, you don't have to try. You just are Pisces and, um, and, oh, uh, one more. So Pisces, I think that they like Mr. Rogers. I just, I just have to do this. So I think they're wanting to say to you, I like you as you are, exactly and precisely. I think you turned out nicely, and I like you as you are. 
I like you as you are, without a doubt or question, or even a suggestion, cause I like you as you are. I like your disposition, your facial composition, and with your kind permission, I'll shout it to a star. I like you as you are. I wouldn't want to change you or even rearrange you. Not by far. I like you. I L I K E Y O U. I like you. Yes, I do. I like you. Y O U. I like you. I like you as you are. So I think you are coming to this sweet place of just knowing that, like that Dr. Seuss quote, no one in the world can be you. You are unique. You are a treasure and you don't have to try. Okay, so yeah, let's see what the fairies have to say. This is, this is amazing. This is really sweet. I love this. Okay, we got the fairy godmother beautiful beautiful dreams coming true pumpkins turning into white horse carriages you got lasguna so things hitting the physical physical movements stillness peace uh transformation Ugh. perfect okay uh, anything else here? Oh, zero point card, clean slate. Yeah, I think this is, you're completely rewriting your whole identity. Um, yeah, your whole identity, how you see yourself, your, um, oh, yeah, you're, you're seeing yourself in a completely different perspective. This is the great thing about this card, it can be seen from all angles. It's so cool. Yeah. So uh, I love those guys, the topsy turrets. I think we can just end the reading there, you know? <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, yeah, there we go. It feels complete now. So, um,. <clears throat> I think you are, you have exited a, a dark uh, period in your life um, because, you know, I mean, we have all of this darkness and I think there has been, I think you've, <laughs> I was just getting a vision. I don't know why, but um, I, yeah, I just get visions that um, I had this vision of you like crawling through this cave, this dark pitch black cave and trying to remove all the rubble and all the rocks and you finally remove the last rock and you see light, baby. You see it. Um, and so I think that you have been through a period of darkness, great darkness, great pain, great, um, you know, that shamic journey that <laughs> we all kind of go on. Um, and, and you have finally removed that last piece of rock. And, um, and also you removed, so I think you've, you've gone within and you've removed all of these layers of pain and trauma and, um, heaviness and just all of these layers that aren't really you and you finally remove the last layer and you're like this is who i am this is my truth like i i i finally like met and met myself like who i really am and my my um my inner being and my true essence just that pure innocent essence of who I am so I feel like that's what's happened and and now you're when you wish upon a star 
Uh, this whole energy, you're just dreaming of uh, everything that you can be uh, and everything that you desire and you are... Um, you still have your eyes closed and you're just feeling it. You're just feeling it. You're reaching out with your emotional uh, antennae <laughs> and um, and you're just you're just feeling it. You're pulsing. You're you're feeling it and you're also pulsating it out to the universe of like this is what I want. This is what I want. This is who I am. And enter your very godmother. So, um, yeah, I always get um, coal for pearls or coal for gems, um, you know, yeah, it's just every, yeah, everything is being replaced and everything is just kind of like all of the things that felt really difficult and a struggle and messy and confusing and all of it, it's just like it's just unraveling itself and falling away and to just reveal how blessed you are and how loved you are and how easy life can be and um and i think that you know you're you're experiencing little synchronicities and you're experiencing um little blessings like uh maybe you're just going about your day going about life and total strangers just do little acts of kindness for you and you're just you're just like oh i am loved you know like just a stranger approaches you and compliments you you know so i feel like the these kind of things are happening Un unexpected gifts are on their way to you um so yeah this is just really beautiful and again we have the owl can you see that up in the corner owl owl so i definitely feel like you have a lot of um angelic energy around you pisces that are just like bestowing these gifts and are just like kind of watching over you and um enveloping you um in this bubble of just like love and protection and you know you might be in a place of like I, I don't know what I'm doing, you know, uh, I'm nowhere where I want to be, things aren't ideal, that's, you know, that's perfect, but there's this sense of, like, everything is getting easier, and, um, and clearer, and, uh, yeah, everything is getting clearer, and, um, it's clear in here and you can finally like feel yourself you can really like feel yourself and you're like feeling more physical you're just like ah oh yeah okay hello you know like you're just like oh like maybe you haven't like really been in your body and you finally like have come into your body and you're just like, ah, and, and life feels clear. Life feels more visceral to you and you're just feeling more embodied. Yeah. And, you know, we said that you're, ha you're, I think you're seeing yourself in different ways. You're seeing yourself in another perspective and you're just seeing life in a whole other way, in a whole new perspective. Um, you're seeing other people. You're just... You know, how can it get any better, you know? Yes, it can, Pisces. It's just exponentially getting better and better. It's just like raising and raising and raising. There's like no limit to the the freedom and expansion and joy and peace that you can feel. It's just like I just feel like I just keep wanting to do that. Okay. Uh we have Las Guna. So yeah, you you very well might not be in that like most ideal place in your life, but there's this sense of peace and stillness that you haven't quite had before, or this sense of just contentment or joy or happiness. Maybe you're feeling happy, happy for the first time in forever. And, you know, just, just look at her and she's just letting the 
the sun touch her skin and it feels so good and um and there's a whole quote in the guidebook about this about uh you know lascuna represents duality and dichotomies um which is also finding the second treasure in where you are right now so there's some kind of treasure i think in in this moment in your life right now while you're still hopping forward and making progress and making movement and making um momentum uh, creating positive momentum in your life while also finding moments of stillness and and peace and little treasures just little treasures and and um finding the magic in in everyday life oh my god i'm getting chills i'm getting goosebumps and chills you are you are tapping into the subtle magic of, of everyday life of the bird singing of the sun hitting the leaves in a certain way hitting water in a certain way um actually feeling the warmth of the sun rays on your skin um you know if it's snowy and cold where you are you're you just like wake up and everything is delicately layered with this layer of snow and everything is quiet and with this owl you know it's this grace gracefulness this this quietness this peace i don't know if you've ever uh, i mean if you live in the snow obviously you have you've just gone outside in the forest where there's no cars or anything and it's just silent It's just amazing. It's totally different if you went there during the summer. In the, in the winter time, it's just, it's just such a delicate, it's just a, such a delicate time. And speaking of snow, we have the zero point card blank page. So I think that you are going through this whole purification process and it's just getting lighter and lighter and more purified and clean and uh and you're just shining brighter and brighter and you're writing this new page in your life and you might very well be uh playing around with your identity with your look with um and everything like that and how you perceive yourself obviously so let's just see uh if there's any uh last words a spirit has has for you you beautiful person um any advice for <laughs> gorgeous blazing pisces okay flexible stay flexible pisces be like bamboo like bruce lee teaches i'm pretty sure he teaches that right some kind of teaching with him and bamboo and water and gorgeous. I recommend maybe you looking up Bruce Lee and watching some of his interviews. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna laugh. Okay, poised. <laughs> that was not poised. I was very clumsy with that. Um, but you're becoming more poised. This is just uh, gorgeous. You are just poised and primed to receive. That's what I'm getting. You're just, I'm ready to receive. You're just in this perfect place to, um, yeah, to receive and um you're you're getting your confidence you're getting confident uh you're getting your confidence uh more and more um and yeah you're just i i'm ready i'm ready to receive and that's beautiful energy beautiful energy and um you know with the oyster and the black egg you know these are really hard materials um, especially the, you know, I, I think of this as, um, 
as this as this stone I feel like it's like onyx or uh, hold on yeah like obsidian I see this black egg as obsidian rock so these are both very tough materials um, and I think that you have been in um, some kind of cocoon or something um, and so now you're starting to get back into your waters and be so yeah just become more fluid as you start to open up and hatch and I mean like look at you you're you're so open so um, yeah this is just a reminder for some of the Pisces to remain flexible to remain open so yeah, I think we just want one one more one more uh, for some of you the soulmate card kind of was was peeking out there so and that might be in store for you or just more union and partnership and support and all of that um so the fates so yeah this is uh like divine timing and um you know something you know like we of course have free will and then some things we've agreed to before we were born and so this is one of those moments that you've agreed to before you were born and it's just it was just always meant to happen this way um and it was just written in the stars and um and so yeah this is really this is really really beautiful so pisces um yeah this is this is just an absolute pleasure so um i hope that this served you know that you are so so loved you are never ever alone and always be kind to yourself and be kind to others take care pisces Mwah. bye